the new 103.1 Groove Radio. We've been telling you about it for weeks. We've been setting it up for days, and it is about ready to happen. Oh, uh, man, if you have just tuned in, you are in for a treat. First, though, let me congratulate some folks before we jump straight into it. Future Sound of London Groove Pack winners tonight, Les Lips from Hollywood. I like that name. That's kind of cool, Les Lips. Uh, Michelle Leslie from Costa Mesa and uh, Elios Lino from Buena Park all scored those extra special Future Sound of London Groove Packs. So congratulations to you. Now, to just, just to prove to you that it's live, let me show you what we got here. Cool. That sounds very nice. Cool. Cool. Those sounds are coming straight from London, England, via an ISDN cable. You're listening to an exclusive ISDN broadcast by Astroworks recording artist, The Future Sound of London, live from their studios in England. You know you can pick up their new album, Dead Cities, as well as many other Astroworks releases at your local Virgin Megastore. And at the end of the two-hour broadcast, Groove Radio's own Christian B will spend some time with the guys from Future Sound of London, getting to know them just a little bit better. So without any further ado, through the miracle of ISDN, it's the Future Sound of London on the new 103.1 Groove Radio. Transmit. What an emotional experience, dude. <laughs> I got a connection with you, man. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Is there LA, delay? Hello. <laughs> We're here. Can you hear us? Hello, LA. Well, they get paoli quick. Can you hear us? Do we have a Christian B in the house? Hello, hello, hello. can you hear me? This is kind of interesting, isn't it, John? It's very nice. Okay. Very, very nice. Can they hear us now? Can they hear us? Can you hear us? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We have connection. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I must say really this is excellent. This has been an emotional experience. I hope so. Yes, very much so. I must say, <laughs> first of all, I have to say uh, to everybody that you just got done listening to an exclusive ISDN broadcast by Astroworks recording artists, the future sound of London, live from the studio in England. And uh, you can pick up the new album Dead Cities as well as, of course, many other Astroworks releases at your local Virgin Mega Mega Star Star. So is this Gary? Hey. Is this yeah, this is Gary. <laughs> Cobain. <laughs> Gary, you're coming to us from the future, aren't you? Or, or is it the no, past? No, very, very, very horribly in the present. <laughs> you know, I must ask, how many times have you uh, done these ISDN concerts, uh, virtual concerts in the United States? Your priming me to say it's the first <laughs> oh, and you and did I think you would be right terrific I must say we at Groove Radio thank you very much for uh, 
coming aboard and um, doing this. You have actually... No, 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 thank no, no, you no, for no, having no, the innovation no, 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 no. to realize that it would be a good idea. We enjoyed it. Although the time, obviously, was uh, quite an odd one. Eight o'clock in the morning. I mean, <laughs> normally I reserve this time for some meditation. Terrific. Some very rigorous dietary requirements. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys have done this in other parts of the world. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And that would include, I guess, in Italy... Is that correct? Italy, Israel, Norway, Russia, Croatia, this is France, Italy, yeah, and all over the UK as well. And this is just great. I, I totally, I mean, you gotta, I, I've been listening to your music for, God, forever, for many years now. And um, being an, an electronic music lover myself, I have to say that I just really like this amazingly creative genius music that you guys put out and um would like to know actually just personally if um i guess you guys are continuously creating new music i mean uh, almost what on a daily basis i used to need to make music every day but now i'm trying to live and bring my life experience to tracks so at the moment i'm living for a month and then going through a period of experimenting with seeing how my tracks change, how my music changes by trying to make each moment more powerful in a way rather than constantly needing and feeling the need to prove myself by writing every day which I must say for the last four or five years it's almost become that way, almost become like I don't really want to become this 50 year old who needs to prove himself every day by writing a great track I mean it became, it got to the point where I couldn't go out socially in the evenings mm. unless I'd written a great piece of music in the day and that was quite worrying So almost like a neuroses Definitely a neuroses yes That's so cool, you must read tons of philosophy are you big into different philosophies? F is well are into junk of any kind, we junk it together to try and form something new, whether that's philosophy or just complete trash, you know, I d we kind of, we have no rules really, you know, we just kind of, we're really into the idea of the coincidence, people recommending me things, every time I'm recommended, if you would like to recommend me something, every time anybody recommends, I take, that's the way I lead my life, a series of coincidences and recommendations, so at the moment I have three or four books on the go, yeah. I must say the LA audience has been calling in all night and absolutely um, pissed uh, that their ta <laughs> their tapes have run out. They uh, they were taping the show and um, uh, most of their <laughs> tapes have run out because it went a little bit longer than uh, we told them. And uh, anyway, they really appreciate what you've done. Wow, well, 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 we appreciate well, them well, too. Well, 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 well. So what's new for you guys in the future, man? Like, um, uh, uh, hopefully more albums, videos? Um, yeah, an interesting period at the moment, I think. Um, actually, we're just getting back into... Um, we've got a new single coming out called We Have Explosive. Okay. Um, we've been working on that, actually, for the last two months because I think, as people will probably know by now, our singles are kind of albums. <laughs> right. <laughs> so... It, there, this one became even more insane and complex. Um, but actually now we're actually getting back into something we haven't done for quite a few years, which is remixing, which our heads weren't... Our heads became ill for a while. Mm -hmm. um, we had an attitude about remixing, which was unhealthy, so we desisted from it. But now we're getting back into it, and uh, we've got some very nice... Uh, we're actually remixing um, an English band called Supergrass, mm -hmm. um, who uh, we're really into, and it's, it's a really, really nice, nice opportunity, and uh, looking forward to getting into that. And just minimizing, maximizing. <laughs> I have to ask, first of all, let me just say to our audience here, if you're just tuning in, um, we just got done uh, listening to the Future Sound of London performing live uh, in, in London. I guess it's, what, about 10, 10, 11.30 in the morning? 10.30, uh, I have... Um, a hypnotherapy um, session in half an hour. <laughs> okay. I intend I'll to go deep today. I'll be quick. We'll wrap this up then in just a couple of minutes so you can get on to your therapy. Um, 
Anyway, I must say that you're listening to the Future Sounds of London, and I guess uh, this is Gary, correct? Gary Cobain. Okay, terrific. I'm still talking to you. You are. Okay. Um, as far as other artists, I'm a big Cabaret Voltaire fan, and I noticed... I, I, I read somewhere that uh, I think you dig Cabaret Voltaire. We <laughs> plunder and rape the whole history of music, but... Amongst that garbage bin, that waste bin, there are people that we do like. And I guess because we take moments, little moments of things, I'd have to say that I like Barbara Streisand uh -huh. as much as I like Frank Sinatra, as much as I like Eno, as much as I like Kraftwerk. And that's kind of our attitude, really. But I must say, yeah, Cabaret Voltaire were a, a very big... I think the point here is they were a very big bonding force between myself and my brother, Brian. And... Um, when we came together, that was a mutual ground of um, understanding for us amongst our own particular madnesses. And, you know, I, I think at points, you know, at points I think our, our divergence of taste has really, you know, led us into some dangerous ground. I remember we did a Radio 1 session and we were, we were mixing up other people's music and I think uh, Brian got slightly worried when I started spinning in Barbara Streisand and Jonathan <laughs> King, everyone's gone to the moon records. And, uh, so, you know... <laughs> That's I great. love anything that, that touches me, and but Cabaret Voltaire definitely were influential for us both. That's terrific, man. I'm a musician myself, and I have to say they definitely had some influence on, on me. And, uh, well, yeah. uh, you should uh, get some tapes over to us, man, because I'd love to hear your stuff. We, um, we've, we've just set up our um, electronic brain violence um, label, mm -hmm. and uh, we're just releasing our first uh, thing, which is called Oil, Sleight of Hand, and that's... Uh, an incredible piece of music and it's really nice for me to have the opportunity to be a, a musical lover excellent um, rather than just a music maker so at the moment I'm really into just hearing stuff all around the world so if there's anybody in LA that wants to send us tapes we'd be more than uh, pleased to receive them that's fantastic we, we also um, let's see here I've got a Question. Oh, we're going on to questions. I've questions. got a question for you, man. Oh, how as far as scoring any films, are you uh, into doing that? Well, funny enough, we took some very decisive moves this evening. Um, that We took our cue from various tacky Hollywood movies. Huh. Um, and we've actually hijacked various movie moguls around the city tonight, forced them into cars with nice sound systems. And uh, hopefully by now they would have seen uh, the wisdom of... Um, allowing us the freedom to score, hopefully, the new Space Odyssey. Um, we've got various... I mean, actually, funny enough, actually, we are getting a lot of... Um, we've got a, new, uh, a track on the new Saint, heaven forbid, <laughs> which is a remake of that classic old uh, thing, uh, starring Tom Cruise, I believe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe that, and uh, a new Marlon Brando movie as well. Uh, there's some various things going on. But, you know, we're continuing with our own audio-visual exploration, which I think is really going to um, be a lot more rewarding for us rather than just providing tracks which are, you know, going to be slightly abused and misused. I mean, I'm, I, like, I love being abused and misused, so, you know, I like that too. But I'm really into just exploring this new kind of syntax that we're evolving at the moment um, with our own films and our own things. So we'll be continuing doing that and hopefully getting into some kind of live ISGN audio-visual environmental transmission uh, this year as well, whereby we'll be setting up just weird environments and uh, doing audio-visual downlinks to freak some heads. You know, I totally believe in energies, like, you know, we, uh, as people give off energies with each other, I can feel such an amazing energy, dude, coming from just, I don't know exactly where, but it feels really cool. I have to ask you, like, a couple more questions and I'll, and I'll um, say goodbye for the evening, or for the morning, for you guys. Buggy G. Riphead, is that his name? Oh, my man, Bugs, yeah. Buggy G? A very dear friend of ours, yeah. We've been uh, through a lot of ups and downs, but that is his name, yeah. Cool. Very, Buggy G. Yeah. yeah, all right, man, right on. And he produces, uh, or does, I guess, the video visuals for you guys. Um, he's... Sometimes, yeah, I mean, quite often, quite often it's uh, mistaken that... Um, I think, in a way, this is part of the, uh, the modern-day fixation that, um, you know... Um, you have a band and you have vultures that circle overhead that take care of things like visuals and, uh, you know, ph photography and... and uh, so he doesn't uh, necessarily do all your videos? Well, no, he's, he's very much part of the uh, FSOL mess. You know, we have mm -hmm. a team of um, animators and all people around us that have...
particular specializations. Mm -hmm. um, but all the mess eventually comes into this into this outfit, into the studio, and it's from here that the, the, the mess is disassembled into a new form. So Buggy G is, is very much part of and important to a lot of our iconic, some of our most iconic um, visual work, I think, has been done by Bugs, but mm -hmm. a lot of the uh, other stuff is also done by us, and a lot, it's very much a, as much of a mess as the FSOL sound, you know. It's almost like there's about five stages to a track, mm -hmm. five stages to an image, and mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we're kind of left trying to claim what we did and it was very difficult you know and it becomes this huge argument about what happened in the past you know it becomes insane you know well i i got that bit and you know i found this bit and <laughs> mm. i sampled that bit and you know well, at the end of the day you just say well who cares you know <laughs> i have i have uh, one more question for you actually a caller just called up and wanted to ask if you feel that isdn and actually uh, i guess all the modern technologies what they're trying to get at has enabled you to um to reach your or a personal vision of yours, I think it's great personally, and I was just wondering, and so are they, um, what you feel about that, and then that'll that'll be it for the evening. I think our use of yeah, I think certainly technology has um, empowered me. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, also very wary though of um, allowing myself to fall into the hands of people that believe that technology is solely responsible for creativity. I, th I, I just think in a way technology has enabled me to in a very simple form to lose my ego in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was brought up, I'm very much a, a bastard son, you know, bridging over from a rock and roll era and I, I must say I was brought up with music that I'm left with now, you know, more sort of traditional band stuff and I found it very difficult to go against that but I've lost my ego. I don't want to replicate what other people have, the ways in which other people have moved me. And mm -hmm. I think technology, if anything, has enabled me, we view it very much as a microscope. Mm -hmm. It's a very good way of just analyzing and reanalyzing information and analyzing your life and your emotions. And it's a, it's a modern day microscope. And in that way, yes, it's definitely empowered me and enabled me to get a, a completely different vision on entertainment and, and the self. I will end by saying that there's no doubt, at least in my mind, that this is absolutely wonderful, true art in uh, its electronic form. And I think you guys, you and Brian, are um, absolutely terrific and uh, welcome you back anytime. We appreciate being able to broadcast you guys to the city of Los Angeles right here in Groove Radio. And um, Gary, thank you so much for your time. Tremendous, and, uh, man. M much respect. Okay. Thanks a lot. Take care, all right? Bye-bye. Yeah, and you. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. That was the Future Sound of London. And... Uh, Definitely welcome them anytime. What a great concert, huh, Jean-Paul? <laughs> very, 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 very nice. Very cool, very interesting, and I'm just like, I'm just kind of in another world right now, tripping out. It, it's so nice, we've actually drawn the biggest overnight crowd here in the Groove Radio studios yes. of seven people. That's absolutely correct. Very nice, with a disco light and all That's rotating right, right now. Jean-Paul, of course, the raving reporter. Roving and, rave reporter. Roving rave reporter. And um, I'm going to go ahead and play some of these for a moment, and uh, we'll be back with uh, Papa New Guinea.